Not since former Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan spoke in his infamous words, irrational exuberance, back in December of 1996, just three short years of the market crash, has a Fed chair made a direct comment about the stock market. You know, and this week, Janet Yellen, in her Henry Hawkins testimony before the Senate Banking Committee, said that she feels that the biotech sector and the social media sectors are both overvalued. So that was quite interesting. It's not a good thing when, I can tell you, when the Federal Reserve Chairman is trying to talk down the stock market. That means that they obviously think that there's some valuation issues there. And obviously, to add kind of insult to injury here, you know, we are eliminating the Federal Reserve, not me. Uh, The Federal Reserve is eliminating the bond purchasing program, or QE, or the tapering, all these great words, but basically eliminating the supplementation of the purchase of bonds, which is now $35 billion, and they're saying it's going to be gone, this quantitative easing, this easy money policy we've had in October, and they're going to look to raise rates in 2015. So, you know, that's a problem. I mean, you have a, a stock market that is at minimum fairly valued, if not overvalued. And, you know, I don't like to get into that. We say at, at Reyes Financial Architecture, we don't predict, we protect portfolios and people's retirement. So I don't get into that game. I just try to do the things I can to ensure that we have a safe and secure retirement and make sure that we have money that we will not, you know, outlive. So this brings me to lots of different points. And one of the last things that she said in her testimony was that, and this was in regards to interest rates. And she said, when interest rates begin to rise, if firms or individuals have taken risk and have not adequately protected and prepared to deal with them, they can cause distress. And she's being very kind. And, you know, let me share with you, if you own a bond portfolio, I will tell you that you need to be very, very careful. And most of you don't understand how bonds work. And I see this time after time, and it, it's frustrating, not for me, I'm, I'm frustrated because I wish that I could just teach classes on, on the bond market because it's such a big part of a lot of people's portfolios. I'm not a big fan of bonds right now. And we'll talk about some ways to, uh, what do we do to replace that asset class or what do we do to reduce the risk of that asset class? But just a 1% rise in interest rates in a 20 year bond, okay? A 1% rise, right? Just a little 1% rise can cause over a 16% loss in your portfolio. In a 10-year bond, you can have up to about an 8% loss in in principal. I mean, it gets pretty significant. Municipal bonds, the average municipal bond, you're talking about a 7%, you know, loss in principal. So, you know, there was a study that was done by Deutsche Bank and they looked at uh, this, it was called a long-term asset return study. And the last time interest rates were at these current levels, which was the 1950s, Treasury bonds lost 40% of their inflation adjusted value over the following three decades. And I know that time frame. That was 1950 to 1980. What happened? We had inflation in the 60s and 70s and early 80s, right? So now you had rates go from a low in 1950 to a high of 1980, okay, which is a horrible time to own bonds. And according to the study, lost 40% of their value from 1980 to about two, you know, now we're at what, 2014, you're talking a little over 30 years. Interest rates have fallen pretty precipitously and people have done pretty well in bonds. In fact, bonds outperformed the stock market from 1980 to 2008. But that world, we're now back in, let's now we're now on the other side of that again. So now on a forward basis, bonds are a very high risk asset. In fact, Warren Buffett says that bonds should come with a warning label. So for those of you out there that own bonds, that's a lot of you. Let me protect you. Let me help you. Okay. So one of the things you want to do is you would want to shorten the duration or the length of the bonds. Okay. So if instead of owning 20-year treasuries or 10-year treasuries, you might want to be in the no more than five years out. Okay. Because the the shorter the duration or shorter the length of the bond, the less interest rate risk you're going to have. And, and that's if you have to own bonds. Second of all, if you have to own bonds, do not own them in a bond fund. Own individual bonds, okay? Because you're at least going to get paid back, hopefully, that bond at maturity as opposed to a bond fund, which is forced to liquidate bonds when you have a rise in interest rates. And that's how you can lose 
these real amounts of significant money. But let me give you the simple, simple answer. What I would do, what I would look at at least, okay, is first off, those two things I talked about. Second off, what I would do is look at real simple, and I call it Hockham's razor. Hockham's razor, for those of you out there that know, is a scientific term that means when all else fails, the simplest solution is always the best. So what is the simplest solution? The simplest solution, let's remove interest rate risk from our portfolio. Let's remove, so we've already got the stock market risk right now. We have interest rate risk. So let's just say you have a 50% stock, 50% bond portfolio. Let's take half the portfolio, put it into a really good, solid, low fee, fixed index annuity, okay? So you can have market participation. You can have low fees. Typically, they're going to be in the 1% range for fees, unlike variable annuities, which are in the 4 to 6% range, which I'm not a big fan of most of those. And plus, we're going to have, again, principal protection. So we can, we can basically lock in the gains we have there. We can have income streams that we cannot outlive and not have to worry about this rise in interest rates. And we can typically take out, depending upon your age, 5 to 6% over your lifetime of this income of money that you and your spouse cannot outlive. So if this sounds interesting to you and you'd like to learn more about this and more about your bonds, give me a call, 877-406-CALL, 877-406-2255, 877-406-2255. And I will do a personal second opinion for you. I'll review your uh, portfolio. I'll review your taxes, your estate plan, anything that you have relative to retirement, long-term care. And, and this second opinion is very, very comprehensive. It's a, really a $2,500 value. Uh, we used to charge for this. And for all KFMB listeners that qualify, we will do this as a complimentary basis just to see if you're taken care of and if you're okay. And make sure you understand the risk of the bond market and the stock market right now and how what we can do to ensure that you are protected. Because when you get into retirement, it's not about how much you earn. It's not about your rate of return. It's more about how much income we have. So we want to maximize income, make sure that income lasts the rest of our life, and make sure we maintain quality of life. Mitigate taxes. My partner's a CPA. We're a fiduciary firm, which means that we are, have a legal duty to put your interest ahead of our own. And so if you're interested in the second opinion, again, give me a call, 877-406-CALL. 877-406-2255. Again, that's 877-406-2255. We'll be right back after this break. This is David Reyes, your financial and retirement architect on KFMB AM 760. You're listening to the retirement architect, David Reyes. Common sense or amazing guesswork? And no guesswork here. The retirement architect, David Reyes, will continue next. Did you know that a significant amount of your Social Security can be wiped out by income from your IRA due to taxes? Did you know that the government forces you to pay taxes on your retirement through required minimum distributions? If you have a 401k, 403b, TSA, or pension from a previous employer, or any type of an IRA, you have the opportunity to convert to a tax-free retirement income. How would you like to live your retirement free from income taxes, including tax-free Social Security income? Imagine a retirement account that has principal protection from market risk and a lifetime of tax-free income. Call Reyes Financial Architecture today to receive our seven secrets to a stress-free retirement kit at 877-406-CALL. Take control of your future and live your retirement free from market risk and taxes. Call David at Reyes Financial Architecture, 877-406-2255. Have you recently changed jobs and now you have a 401k or other retirement account you don't want to risk in the market? You've worked too hard to leave your retirement to chance. Since you'll probably start another retirement account at your new job, why not make sure nothing happens to your last one? David Reyes with Reyes Financial Architecture can help you roll over your retirement account from your previous employer and give you principal protection from market risk. 
Be confident of your plan. Call Reyes Financial Architecture now and ask about receiving a complimentary review. Don't leave anything to chance. Call David now at 877-406-CALL. That's 877-406-2255. Business owners, some of you have worked 20, even 30 years to build your business. You're ready to sell your business and go into retirement, but you don't want to risk or lose any of your hard-earned money. How about 401k owners? Have you recently changed jobs and have a retirement account you don't want to see disappear due to market losses? If you have money you are counting on for retirement, the team at Reyes Financial Architecture can make sure you sleep at night with principal protection from market risk and a return that will create a predictable income stream that will rise with inflation. Don't stay on an elevator that may be heading for the basement. Revive your retirement. That's advanced planning, and now you can have it. You don't have to settle for the ordinary. Call Reyes Financial Architecture now at 877-406-CALL. That's 877-406-2255. 